In our collection of UX research methodologies, contextual inquiry is an essential process to include. In this research method, we observe customers using applications in their own environments. So whether that's their home, office, or somewhere else entirely. Now typically, we conduct these studies during the early stages for a new feature or product because this research data is so critical in shaping things like requirements, personas, user flows, architecture, and content strategies. Yeah, it affects that much. It's through the direct observation of these natural behaviors that we begin to gain insights that take our products from being usable to truly great experiences. Now this method differs from a research method like usability testing. In usability testing, we typically give participants the same tasks in order to derive systematic performance data on which to iterate our designs. In contextual inquiry, we're more curious about what the participants do without directing their behavior or providing them detailed instructions. One of the greatest strengths of this methodology is that you get to see things that you wouldn't anticipate. And this allows us to minimize the guesswork in our designs and provides insights for new features. You get to see the interruptions, superstitious behaviors, and illogical processes that directly influence our UX work. For example, in a hospital setting, we might observe when all the patient records are accessed from a single admin computer, and how that affects the workflow for doctors, nurses, and administrators around the hospital. For a piece of tax software I worked on, we would watch people do their taxes for hours and hours, sometimes even days, and we observed their confusion, start and stop points, and insecurities. This directly led to such features as a visual checklist of needed forms, an audit review feature for the scary tax process to give them a little bit more of a safety net. And we actually provided a visible save button, even though we were auto-saving on every screen, because customers needed to click on a save button after a lengthy data entry just for their own peace of mind. These are just a few of the features we added after the contextual inquiry studies. Contextual inquiry is really one of the most valuable research methods in our UX arsenal, and I strongly encourage you to try it in your own work.